All right, the next speaker is Roger Lowe, uh, who's well known for his work on quantum computing. Uh, but today, he's talking about metaprogramming. Julia, making physicists do metaprogramming since 2012. Hello, and uh, thanks for attending my talk. Uh, today, I'll not talk about any physics. Um, so uh, metaprogramming, we, uh, we made a, t a collection of tools for metaprogramming. Uh, and uh, before I talk about start talking about this package, I'd like to talk about some history um, back to 2019. So in parallel of uh, working on uh, uh, quantum computing stuff, we, um, we worked on something about supporting the features of uh, ML family to, uh, of languages to Julia. So that mainly includes uh, two things, algebra data type and pattern match. And pattern match seems to be the most popular feature um, and uh, uh, this package was created by uh, um, by Tanner Zhao, uh, who is uh, a close friend of mine. Um, and uh, uh, we have been using MSDAO for uh, metaprogramming uh, for quite a long time, uh, and uh, mainly used for pattern matching on Julia ASTs uh, or pattern match for custom uh, AST structures that represent some Julia AST. Uh, and or we also use pattern match to uh, do code generation from uh, a pattern of uh, we matched from Julia AST. So on the right hand side is the example I copied from uh, ML style documentation. Here we uh, can see that you can uh, natively use ML style pattern matchers to match uh, some existing uh, Julia AST like this. Uh, this match uh, structure definition, and then you can remove the lines of uh, uh, these, uh, this expression and check if they're equal. Um, and uh, uh, although ML style, uh, so in case you don't really, um, you haven't uh, uh, had this, uh, used the pattern match before, um, to give you a little bit of feeling of what this is, you can understand this as a reverse operation of constructors. So here's another example of matching dual expression constructors. So instead, of, uh, so on the left hand side, those are exact the same syntax how you construct a uh, uh, dual expression using the constructor. Uh, but uh, in the match context, we will do the reverse operation instead. So here, instead of construct uh, the this expression by inserting the value of a, we will give you the value of a. Uh, and underscore means we don't care about that value, which is the uh, that's just a wild card. So, um, although ML still has been a very powerful tool in metaprogramming, uh, it has been a, a, a little bit painful painful uh, that we keep rewriting a lot of common patterns, and there's still a lot of tools missing. Uh, we find are frequently used, and there used to be uh, uh, macro tools, uh, but uh, uh, we find there are some new things based on ML style is uh, missing from there. So we start uh, write this package exponicon as a collection of metaprogramming tools but, uh, on top of ML style. Um, so we provide better some better ST manipulation APIs based on uh, syntax objects. Um, for example, on the right hand side, we provide a GL function structure that allows you to construct or directly pattern match a, a Julia function expression. For example, here I can just match uh, if uh, this this pattern match will just check if if the expression A is a function expression. If it is a function expression, we'll extract the function hat uh, to you. Otherwise, return false. Um, and these are uh, combined with uh, uh, ML style pattern matchers. Uh, the other example is you can easily generate nested if else statements um, by just uh, using this dictionary interface. While in the normal uh, Julia expression API, you have to do this recursively. Uh, we also provide uh, some other tools that we'll talk uh, in the following, that is the AST validation generation and extraction tools, uh, and also tab stable algebra data type as a very experimental feature. Uh, and the other tool I would like to highlight is the uh, testing 
uh, utilities for meta programming. So one thing we found very uh, inconvenient is when you test uh, meta program uh, generated expressions, uh, there are a lot of redundant like line numbers that you don't really care. Uh, but uh, when you actually use just use the uh, equality relationship between uh, of the default expression, the return false, which makes sense, uh, they're not exactly equal. What we actually want to test is if they are semantically equivalent. So we provide you a macro that uh, check this by matching a lot a bunch of patterns we think semantically equivalent in Julia. Like uh, we will ignore uh, line number nodes. So. Uh, Replace uh, so you can just use this macro to test if if your generated expression is equivalent to what you expect, well, up to uh, ignoring some line numbers, etc. Um, and the other uh, convenient tool we built for meta programming is pre printing for Julia AST. Uh, although the base uh, printing is nice, but uh, uh, without some uh, basic syntax highlights, it's uh, still hard to read when you generate complicated expressions. So here I would like to show you a live demo. Uh, here I use the live version of Xproticon. I'll explain what that is. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add macro expand uh, uh, macro from configurations package and then we pretty print it. So this is the default printing of uh, a Julia expression. And this is our pretty printing. Um, so it used a, a similar syntax highlight in your terminal uh, as uh, how you use it in your VS code and the color is configurable. Uh, we, we handle, uh, we print out the components based on their semantics. So it's much easier to read when you try to do meta program. It also, yes, yeah, skip the line number noise. And uh, so the other issue we have is uh, for some applications trying to use Xproticom, uh, we suffer from latency issues because ML style is a very complicated package. It has a lot of things inside. Um, so uh, in before 1.9, uh, this is quite obvious. So uh, we bootstrap Xproticom by compile out all the pattern match macros so that Xproticom, uh, so that we get a package with zero dependencies. Uh, so if you run uh, run the using 1.8 and previous version of Julia, uh, you can see exporting exporting light is extremely fast to load. Uh, this allowed us to use on uh, some latency sensitive applications like uh, the CLI uh, generators, uh, like uh, configuration parsing. Uh, it, it gets it some get get a, a lot more, more worse in loading. Uh, unfortunately, after 1.9 with the package image. Um, uh, and uh, uh, the other reason why we want to use this is uh, uh, comparing to other tools is is this is actually a very um, battle tested um, package in real world uh, meta programming. So we have been using this extensively across many um, packages that need a, a meta pro complicated meta programming, like configurations that we generate the configuration parsing code for you, Comonicon, which is a, a CL generator in Julia that uh, generates a dependency-free CL pars parser, uh, and some other quantum computing stuff. Okay. Um, and last uh, uh, experimental feature is type stable algebra data type. Uh, it's like in NUMS, it's, it's actually like Rust in NUMS, uh, but here with some trick we make it uh, type stable. Uh, but this is very experimental because we uh, use some um, evil stuff like unsafe load. Um, and uh, uh, here I would like to shout out to Mason Porter. He also worked on uh, a lot of these and I get a lot of inspiration from his implementation. Um, so some future work. Uh, so 
we we now realize ML styles do have some limitations in terms of uh, uh, semantic design and uh, uh, some corner cases of the matchers. Uh, so we like to rewrite uh, rewrite to ML style in case of the, in in consideration of that, and also want to bootstrap ML cell so that we can use pattern match to implement pattern match. That will make the code base uh, much easier to use. Uh, any questions? So I've been reading the AST as part of working with Arctic.io. Um, if it's AST things, so you can put the else AST is nested, then it's like irritating, right? Maybe. Um, so I've been rethinking a lot of those things, and I'm not going to be AST. So we can work that month, because that's sensitive. And if you have other things to think of, also, then I'm rethinking those right now. So uh, what are you talking about? Yeah, that's all. Julius yeah. Yeah. See, okay. see Julius yeah. yeah. And we've, we've got to keep moving. So thank you, Roger.